Al Shabab hit and run. To the unexpected ambush by the roadside, KDF and the Al Shabab are on a collision course. Milani. October 2011 The Kenyan government announces it will crush the Al-Shabaab militiamen and decides to send its military to Somalia. The operation dubbed Lindangchi was announced by the military at the Department of Defense headquarters in Nairobi. The UN Charter, which is not peacekeeping, but peace enforcement. For there to, to keep peace, you must enforce it first. United Nations Charter to remove Al Shabaab not only from our country, but even closer to our country. And I had the opportunity of meeting with uh, Johnny Castle, the Assistant Under Secretary of State for African Affairs. He was asking me, General, do you think your armed forces will be able to? liberate his mind. I told him, you are better than the American. We will do that. Then, the long, hard and challenging journey began. As the armed army personnel carriers and the tankers made their way through the dangerous stretches inside Somalia, it dawned to us that we were trading on dangerous downs on the planet. Five kilometers down the road, we got an intelligence report indicating a likelihood of an attack on our convoy by the Al Shabaab militia. Tension began building up as we approached mid our journey. The dense shrubs and the silence in this dead village revealed the magnitude of the situation. Just 19 kilometers away from Tabla town, the expected happened. came under heavy enemy fire from more than a hundred Al-Shabaab members. The army men had to make a split-second decision. They quickly assessed the position of the Al-Shabaab militia and the battle began. Kenya soldiers fought with all means to overpower the militia. Moments after the ground troops had been attacked, the much needed air support and sophisticated firepower from above came in fast and furious. Helicopters dealt with the attackers from above, bombing their positions. Uh -huh. 
several Al-Shabaab militiamen were killed while KDF lost one soldier. This was our first encounter of gunfire since we entered Somalia. We continued with our journey to Belas Kokani, which was just 13 kilometers away from that point of contact. As we continued with our mission and stay in Somalia, we experienced frequent attacks by the Al Shabaab militants in our camp day in, day out. The second day at 8.30 p.m., the Al-Shabaab militia came with a mission to eliminate everyone in the camp. battle lasted for three hours, non-stop, before the Kenyan Defense Forces overwhelmed them. At daybreak, we were yet to come to terms with what had transpired the previous night. Everyone was alert, but still, all was not well. The military intelligence revealed over a retaliatory attack by the militia. Immediately, the soldiers got their arsenal ready. Military defense was intact. The snipers on standby. And the waiting began. the safety in bunkers for four hours and as soon as we thought we were safe the bullets were in the air the visitors had come once again but uh, I don't know money resources This time round, very optimistic to win the battle. What are you doing? What are you doing? I 
hivyo hivyo lazima ujue ni kwa nini nataka upande wa sisi kwanza ndio oh. tusikie kama iko risasi acha kwanza wa sisi upande ndio tusikie kama iko risasi na kuja na huko it was an unfortunate event for them more than 50 al shabab members were killed as one kdf soldier sustained serious injuries it was a battle that demoralized the militia group forcing them to back down for at least a week before they could launch another attack The soldiers intensified their fight in the areas of Afmado, Beles Kokani, and Agliba to flush out the Al Shabab militiamen. It was a tactful attack with the final destination in mind, Kisimayo. From the ground attacks to the air. strikes hit the al shabab camps and destroyed the arsenal with which they have in a long time used to terrorize innocent somali people after several months of fighting the kdf had managed to secure the key towns in somalia that were in the hands of the al shabab militiamen towns like dobli tabda beles kokani Fafadam, Raskamboni, Afmado, Hosim, Hayo, Agliba are just but few among many that have been liberated. The issue is not rushing the operation, but uh, ensuring that the areas that have been liberated, uh, normalcy is restored, pacification uh, operation is undertaken uh, to ensure that. Uh, Uh, things like uh, relief uh, the ngos and other agencies can come down here and uh, assist people the battle continued with the major and final plan by the kenyan defense forces being to capture and liberate the port of kisimayo The day to take up Kisimayo came and on 28th of September 2012 Kenya had prepared the men to tackle the enemy and get the job done. And therefore we have uh, established control points uh, in all the exits and entry into the town. So out of Kisimayo the three main exits, one heading toward Jamame another one toward Janakabdala and another one toward Bulahaji. All those are have got checkpoints. Warships at the coastline of Kismayu in the Indian Ocean were ready to eliminate any threats from the sea. land the troops approached the town so carefully to minimize the number of casualties
Helicopters lowered the troops to the grounds as they prepared for the surge. The Al-Shabaab fled the town before the battle began, a sign of defeat by the militiamen to control the port of Kisimayu. Soldiers took control of every part of the town. From the port, center was an incredible achievement that came with tremendous sacrifice. This was a high level of operation that has been done by the Kenyan military, showing professionalism that has been recognized by the world. A victory that many nations in the world had failed to achieve. The liberation of Kisimayu marks the beginning of rebuilding Somalia and helping the Somali people to feel the dignity of humanity.
the responsibility lies with all nations in the world to unite and help Somalia pick up its pieces. The KDF has set the pace for the mission and for as long as Kenya exists, it will sustain the strongest military in Africa and make itself a heaven of peace in the continent. That's the sign of a victory.